Hey guys, uh, we had a special request for Left Behind, The Rise of the Antichrist. This is the fourth or fifth Left Behind movie. We haven't done Christian adaptations yet, um, so this will be our first one. I actually have read most of the books, not the prequel books. I've, I've read all 12 of the original series, and the books are really, really good. I've, I've highly recommended them to Griffin. But we had a request to review this one, and we're going to give our thoughts on it. Yeah, it's in theaters right now for anyone who is curious to go watch it. I am not Christian. I am personally an atheist, and I think that doesn't impact my my uh, opinions about this movie. This movie, from what I've heard, I haven't seen any of the other Left Behind movies, but wildly across every review, everyone is saying the same thing. This is the best Left Behind movie there is. So if you've seen any of the other Left Behind movies, I recommend going to go see this one. But just because it is the best of something doesn't mean it is good. I think this movie did have some pacing issues. There was either really slow at times or everything seemed to be a little bit rushed together. And I think for me, it kind of seemed like they sacrificed pacing the narrative and the plot and character development to have these longer preaching moments like there was a speech that was like 15 minutes long and everything before that was just rushed to get to that moment and i don't know if that was the best move storytelling wise surprisingly enough i did like the acting in this movie the acting in this movie by neil mcdonough was really good i i, I was very surprised by that it's funny that you should say that mm -hmm. so he's great I, I thought he would have been a better Nikolai Carpathia than than the actor that played Nikolai Carpathia. Not that he was bad. I just thought that having read the books and seeing Neil, I was like, damn, that was a miscast. I do see that. He, he was, his role, I think, was a little bit underutilized. Here, here we have two differences of opinions. And, and, and so you know that this is a very unbiased review so i am baptist christian um and and griff as he just admitted he is not but he gave the movie a shot which you know most people wouldn't i like the movie for what it was but i agree with griff on what he has said it's not the best movie it's the best left behind movie the acting is good uh even kevin sorbo who directed and acted the guy that plays buck williams i, I wish they would stop recasting this this particular cast i liked what uh chad michael murray did in the nicholas cage left behind movie and that's the only thing i liked about that movie again the guy that played nicolai nicolai carpathia in this movie i th i think neil would have been a far better nicolai carpathia hell i think oh, griff help me out the dude that our our current james bond i can't believe i forgot his name daniel craig daniel craig would have been a phenomenal phenomenal uh nikolai carpathia or leo but we never would have got leo for this ever <laughs> he didn't sign up for star wars he wouldn't sign up for this there's an issue with the left behind series the movies fall short of how good the books actually are so if if you guys have seen this movie and you didn't like the movie go read the books i highly recommend the books even if you're not christian even if you don't believe in god i've recommended them to griff he will give them a shot at some point I promise you, at the very least, you'll be thoroughly entertained. They're very well written. They're they're very good books. And if not, maybe maybe you'll you'll change your mind about God. Who knows? But at the very least, you'll be entertained. I like the movie far better than I've liked the other Left Behind movies. The other Left Behind movies quality has been really bad. CG has been horrible. Um, they've sacrificed a lot of what's in the book to just rush certain story aspects. Here, it didn't feel that way. I didn't like the narration. How'd you feel about that, Griff? I wasn't that big of a fan. I There are some other aspects about the movie that I didn't like. I think narration definitely helped that a bit. I'll get into that a little, in a little bit. But I don't think the narration was necessarily helpful for the movie. Yeah. I like the characters, though. I, I But that's just because I've I've liked them from the books. You know, when you read a book first and then you see the movie, you're like, oh, that's not the way I envisioned it in my head or that's not the way it should be. Here, I didn't feel that so much. I bought Kevin Sorbo as Captain Rayford Steele. I bought the chick that plays Chloe as Chloe. Buck, not so much. Or Nikolai. Nikolai, and then I feel like Nikolai was just kind of not, it's called Left Behind Rise of the Antichrist. How much do you think Nikolai's, how much would you say Nikolai's in here, Griff? 
he wasn't in there that much, like five minutes. Yeah. So that's, you know, the, and then, and then the trailer in the movie propaganda propaganda sell you on Neil McDonald's character being like this big figure in the movie. And he overshadows Nikolai, which I didn't like Nick. It's it's again, it's called rise of the antichrist. Here's the thing with the, with, with, the Nicolas Cage movie in this movie. So this is what we didn't see at the, like towards the end of the Nicolas Cage movie is what you see in this movie. You know, the, what happens after the rapture of the UN coming together, making this one world currency, Nikolai, you know, coming to power. That's what you should have seen the last 20 minutes of the, of the 2014 movie here. They cram it into this movie, but I heard by Kevin Sorbo that this movie is based on the third book, which is, literally called Nikolai rise of the antichrist. Well, if you read that book, I don't know what this movie's based off then. Cause that book goes into much more detail on, and literally Nikolai is the main character of that mo- of that book here. It doesn't feel like that. So when they tell me, Oh, it's based on the third book. Mm, no, not, not so much. It's based on the end of the first book and the beginning of the second book. One other thing I, I don't really think this movie really told the story it wanted to tell because it was supposed to, it's supposed to tell a story about the rapture and what happens afterwards, right? Mm-hmm. But it felt like they were trying to make COVID be the rapture and that everyone who died from COVID was saved. I don't know if you kind of felt or saw the same thing but it seemed like they were trying to make this relationship that COVID was the rapture. I didn't get that. I, th- I, to me, it felt that they were trying to make it of today because the, the left behind book series came out like in the, in the late nineties, early two thousands. So they were trying to update it and, 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 you know, talk about things that are relative and, and, they put COVID in there. Obama's mentioned at one point as a joke, I think, um, which didn't really land. So I, I, that's that's how I felt about it. And then the, the, what I didn't get was the whole second wave of vanishings that, you know, uh, Stonegal speaks about. I was like, what what second wave of vanishings? What the hell is he talking about? I think that was the COVID thing. Oh, okay. Then I, I misunderstood that part, which then I, then I agree with Grip. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I think they were just trying to throw COVID in there and didn't really figure out how to do it. And that was their best explanation for it, which didn't really land. I think there's going to be a sequel. There's 12 books in the original series. If there is a sequel, I'm sure we'll watch it. I hope it's better than this one. We'll see. I mean, like, it took them five movies to get one. That's better than all the other ones. We'll see if it's going to be better. I have my doubts. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what you think about this movie. We'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys.